Yo, what's going on guys, it's Shun Run here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom mobs and how to change their drop percentages and what they wear and just stuff like that. So right here you see I made a couple of mobs. Um, as you see, babies, uh, for some reason they have uh, TNT on their head and jukebox on their head. Um, I'll explain that later. So right here, as you see, our mobs are all geared up, and what we can do is we can take this sword... Um, that I created in a previous video. If you guys haven't seen that one, I'll put an annotation at the bottom or end of the video. So we're just gonna co-kill the skeleton. As you see, he's really hard to kill because he's wearing diamond armor. But we did kill him and we did pick up all his loot. So as you see, we did pick up his loot and it is very damaged because we were attacking him. But that just goes to show that um, you can, you know, kill them and get all their drops and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'll just explain that to you guys once we get, um, once we start making these mobs. So, as you see, this guy, this uh, zombie here has a chest as his head and he's holding a uh, half slab. So, we're going to kill him. And when we kill him, you see he drops a half slab and a chest piece and rotten flesh. So, what you guys, what you guys saw him wear, or holding, was... The chest piece and the rotten and the stone slab. But what zombies normally don't drop is a stone brick. They normally drop rotten flesh, so that's normal. But what they don't drop is a stone brick. So you guys may be wondering how he dropped the stone brick. Well, um, once you get into MC Edit, you can uh, filter in a way for them to, you know, hide different objects that they can drop. So right here we have a baby skeleton or a baby villager zombie, and what he and he doesn't seem to drop anything when we kill the babies um so i don't know what's up with that but they seem to not want to drop anything when we kill babies so yeah they don't drop anything but um yeah but with everything else they will drop loot but baby villager zombies and baby uh zombie pigmen don't seem to drop anything so we're just going to create our own geared mob right here or our own custom mob so we're going to quickly just build this uh area here so they don't get out and place a chest and how you do this is we're going to use our stone our stone sword my sword that i made the perfect pink one and we're going to give him let's say uh we'll just i'll ex here I'll, first i'll explain these so what these slots are is this is just like a chest, so you're going to want to put your sword here, and that's what the mob holds. So this is where the mob holds uh, an item that you can see. This is its feet, this is its legs, this is its chest piece, and this is its head. So if we put a chest on its head right... Oops. If we put a chest on its head right here, and we put, let's say, a music disc, um, and we put a music disc in its legs, you won't be able to see that music disc because it's hidden in his legs, and music discs don't render as legs. Um, I'm pretty sure you could put it in feet and chest, and it still won't render. So we'll just keep it in chest, and we'll give him, let's say, um, we'll give this zombie some leather feet and leather uh, pants. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to hop over to MC Edit, and I'll explain all that stuff in MC Edit. Um, first, we're going to cover this guy up so it doesn't burn. So yeah, I'll meet you guys over in MC Edit, and I'll explain all that stuff. Okay, so now we're in MC Edit, and as you see here, here's that chest that we created um, with that zombie. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to make him into a zombie. So we're going to run a filter. So we're going to go over to Filter, uh, and then go to Filter, and you'll find it says Create Geared Mobs. So I already created a geared mob. So we will, we have, you have four different uh, options to pick from. You have Skeleton, Zombie, uh, Pig Zombie, and Wither Skeleton. We're just going to do a zombie. And we won't turn him into a baby because he won't drop anything. And you could change the drop percentages. So say we don't want him to drop his uh, chest head every single time. We could do it at a 25% chance. So you have a 1 4% uh, percent chance to for him to drop that chest. Um, and we want him to drop... Or that's his held, actually. Um, this is his head. So his held weapon was a sword. We want we want to pick that up because that's a quest item. So we'll put that at 100. But his head, the chest, we don't really need that. That could be like a, a shop item. So we'll put that to 25%. And then his chest was a, um, a music disc. So we're going to want that because let's say he's a boss. Uh, we'll use this music disc um, like Hypixel does in his maps where the music discs 
uh, pr basically end the boss battle. So we keep that at 100. And the legs, we'll change that to 75. And the feet, we'll change that to 50 because that's not really important. So we'll just change that to 50 and then we'll filter him in. And once he's filtered in, we'll just save it and we'll quit and we'll go over ba back over to mine. Okay, so we're back into Minecraft, and as you see here, this zombie has a chest on his head. He has this, store, this stone sword here that I made, shooting around the stone sword, and then he's wearing leather pants and leather boots. So we're just going to qu quickly kill him, if we can get this sword. All right, so we're just going to quickly kill him, and you, you'll see that he drops that up. So he did drop everything. Wow, that was lucky. So... We got this 25% chance chest that he dropped. We got this 50% chance boots and the 75% leather pants. And then um, we got this 100% music disc that we need to end the boss battle. And then we got my sword back. So as you can, as you see, it is damaged from that battle. But what you guys can do is you guys can enchant it and put unbreaking on it so it doesn't break as much. Um, and yeah, that's pretty basically uh, how to make uh, geared mobs and how to... Um, create custom mobs with custom armor and you could even put custom potions in there custom armor custom you know basically anything that you guys want um, you could put it in that chest and render it f or filter it into a zombie or a skeleton or whatever kind of um, mob you want and you know it, it gives it a cool little um, like edge to your map and it makes it seem very well done and uh, just a really fun map to play overall when you have you know custom custom mobs and you just take time to create mobs and uh you know make it a more in-depth story so yeah guys that was uh that's basically how to create geared mobs um if you want to see some more minecraft videos be sure to subscribe i'll be doing a lot of tutorial videos and stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching guys peace out